Hello, it's Miss Jeffries, and here is today's story. The Fox Factor by Tim Bugbird and Stuart Lynch Fabio Fox loved to sing. He sang wherever he could, in the bath, on his bike, and even in bed. But really, he wasn't much good. He sang for his friends, if asked to or not. Here's the funniest thing. Whatever they said went into his head. That was amazing. Every night he had the same dream. Fame would knock at his door, but every day he would wake up to find things were as they were before. Then one day he saw a sign. It said, come to our auditions. I've got the fox factor, Fabio thought. I'll win and fulfil my ambitions. Fabio stood still while the judges looked stern and asked, What song will you do? He said, Wash your socks, stinky fox. Then created a hullabaloo. The audience was lost for words. His performance was so bizarre, a million views made Fabio Fox an overnight internet star. Finally famous, Fabio's life changed in fabulous ways. Glitz and glamour 24-7. This was a typical day. Wake up, have a relaxing bubble bath. Posh breakfast of French toast squares on sticks. Luxury spa sessions including brush, tint and curl. Photo shoot for a fancy magazine. Be chased by paparazzi while just trying to lead a normal life. Posh dinner of fried eggs shaped like stars. And to make sure he always arrived on time, or was it just to be seen? With 16 seats and a jacuzzi, he hired a stretch limousine. Fabio's life soon became all he dreamt it would be. It was He was given a recording contract. Stinky Fox was out on CD. At a party in his new penthouse, Fabio took to the floor. Surrounded by his fancy new friends, his old ones were stopped at the door. This should have been Fabio's moment, a superstar truly born. But remember, Fabio could not sing. He honked like an old foghorn. Watching Fabio dance on stage was always lots of fun. But who would buy his music? Every note hit was a bum. The DJ said, we can't play that. We're sorry if that sounds rude. But I'll, it'll give our listeners earache and none of us want to be sued. Stinky Fox was the flop of the year. Fabio's fame was at an end. He threw a party to cheer himself up, inviting his VIP friends. But everyone was too busy. No one could make the trip. So Fabio had a party for one, alone with his chips and dip. They took back Fabio's limo and the keys to his penthouse pad. This was now Fabio's typical day, grey and a little bit sad. Wake up and fall back to sleep for an hour. Boring breakfast of very dull toast. Nothing. Ordinary lunch of boring circle-shaped carrots. More nothing. Dull dinner, including something too dull even to mention. But though he didn't know it, all was far from lost. His story took another twist. Now he'd learned what fame had cost. Walking through the streets one night, Fabio heard a familiar sound. He followed the noise through the alleys and look who he finally found. His old friends were dancing to Stinky Fox. What a terrible din. We m made up this dance to remember you. We found your CD in the bin. Fabio saw he'd been a fool. I won fame but lost my friends. I forgot what really mattered. How can I make amends? His friends said they would have to think, but it didn't take them long. They asked Fabio Fox to join them in remaking his terrible song. The friends all worked together, each doing what they did best. The song now sounded much better, but who could have guessed the rest? Their group became a worldwide smash, Fabio's famous crew. And Fabio learnt that with friends by your side, dreams really can come true. Fabio's famous crew.
the end. I hope you enjoyed my story.